Now, the number one story of the week. The Biden administration will require all federal employees and on-site contractors to prove their vaccination status or submit to regular COVID-19 testing and a mask mandate. President Biden recommends the private sector follow suit. Janice Lachance is executive vice president at the American Geophysical Union. She's former director of the Office of Personnel Management. Jeff Pond is national co-chair of the Training and Development Optimization Council. He's also former director of the Office of Personnel Management. Janice, let's start with you. Thanks for joining me today. What do you expect the new policies to mean for the federal workforce? I think what it means for the workforce is that it's an opportunity for them to lead. I think they have a, a lot of influence in their communities. And I think if agency leaders start with the purpose, start with the why, this is in fact the best way we have to climb out of this pandemic. And federal employees have an opportunity to continue their service to the American people in this way, in a way that is um, careful, thoughtful, uh, his, has solid science behind it. And I'm very excited about uh, the opportunity that federal, the federal workforce will have to receive the vaccine and then also to be an example in their communities. Jeff, how do you think, um, if at all, it'll affect federal hiring uh, and retention? Well, I think, um, you know, the president is the CEO of the executive branch. And like most companies, private or public, uh, the head of the organization actually ensures the safety of their workers. And I think this is a move that they've been very supportive of uh, based upon the science um, and taking a look at, you know, Delta has uh, kind of thrown us for a loop. And I think um, having safeguards and making sure more people are vac vaccined and uh, making sure that we have a safe workplace will help us get the right workers at the right time. Janice, how, how ready do you think agency leaders are to um, manage these new requirements? Do you have uh, advice or recommendations for them? So I think I, I, th my advice is over communicate. Explain this to uh, federal employees in a way that answers all of the questions that they have that deals with any doubts that may be lingering about why we have to do this, why this is important. So I would say, start with purpose. Why are we doing this? Why is it important to maintain a safe workplace, to have a safe community? Secondly, give them the facts. The science is solid behind these vaccines. I think agency heads have an opportunity to get that out. And then finally, how this is going to work. I think that's very important. And also to add in some of the possible negatives. What kind of reaction might you have to the shot? What might happen to you? How is the agency going to cope with that if you have the side effects? And I think transparency and openness, collaborating with employee leaders and employee organizations will be a big help in making this happen in the most smooth way possible. Jeff, what would you say? Uh, any, any advice you would give to agency leaders thinking about this now? Just the same, which is really make, make sure that there's leadership and getting people the right uh, things in to ensure their safety. Right now, the vaccine's the, the, the best thing to uh, battle this uh, Delta variant. And, you know, the people that aren't, aren't uh, vaccinated and coming to work uh, have the highest risk of actually con contracting something uh, like COVID uh, Delta variant. So I, I think it's very important for the agencies and the agency heads uh, to lead and make sure that uh, they're following the CDC uh, guidance. Talk to your doctor. I mean, it comes down to that. Uh, you know, we have a lot of uh, talking heads here in Washington, D.C. that tries to politicize some of these things. If, if you have medical questions, talk to a doctor. W what are they saying? And we're trying to do that as, a, as an organization, as a federal workforce. And I think those are the things that are very important for us to base things on, on the science and making sure that the data is available for us. And as Janice has said, said, be transparent about these decisions, talk about them. This is a journey. This isn't gonna end just 
tomorrow. It's going to continue for a little while. Right. Uh, Jeff, what do you think are the challenges here, the potential pitfalls? Um, I think um, we need to still get FDA approval for the uh, for the uh, vaccine. Um, that's in, in its making, and usually that takes um, about a year or so. We have the emergency authority right now uh, that uh, people are taking right now, and we have about 150 million people that have already uh, been vax vaccinated. So, you know, there's a lot of numbers out there, but I think we still need to take it step by step. Um, this new uh, variant is uh, very different than the alpha variant that we had, and we need to make sure that uh, we protect our workers. We make sure that the, there's uh, things that are non-pharmaceutical related that we're still doing, the distance, the, the masks, and, and making sure that things are uh, wiped down and cleaned at, at your desks uh, at home and as well at work. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for having us.